first, uh, we're going to make a green juiced soup. Now let me, let me talk for a second about the difference between juicing and blending because they're both awesome and they both have their place. Um, and I thought for a very long time that blending was the only way to go because blending, you get the whole food. I think that optimally anytime that you're getting the whole food um, together is best. Um, also, you're not extracting the fibers from the sugars and so it doesn't spike the glycemic index the same if you're doing fruit juices so it's better to do blended fruit juices um, there's more of a sustained release sugar so if you have the fibers with it and the seeds which have a fat it helps um, not let the sugar spike in your body so it's more of a stained release from that energy uh, also if you're blending um, things it'll fill you up more like the green juice that I'm drinking that I bring for the crew that's a blended juice um, because it's it's it, you know it's more like a meal it's satisfying you get that bulk so I always thought oh blending's the best I have no need for a juicer but then I grew to understand that juicing is really the tool for medicine for instance I, I'm gonna juice all these greens okay what we're gonna do is juice Swiss chard this beautiful rainbow chard is that gorgeous times 10 loving it um, then we're going to be juicing romaine and cilantro and one green onion and um, we're not juicing the avocado um, and a cucumber and there's arugula down there. The recipe is spinach, but it actually didn't have any organic spinach at Whole Foods. Can you believe that? At my Whole Foods. It's I mean, they just the, were out. It's not the time of year. It's not, yeah, so I can't believe it and that's okay. <laughs> so there, even though they had like a whole, you know, 50 feet of greens to choose from, I'm like, I can adjust. Um, so if I was going to blend all of this, you guys would be like, Blythe, this is gross. You know, it, like I, I couldn't fit all this in the blender. Um, it would be fibrous. It would just be like a task to eat it. Um, but juicing, what we're going to do when we juice all of this is you're going to be getting the phytonutrients of all of these greens. So it's a supplement. Okay. So if you're sick, if you have a cancer, or an illness, um, all of the supplementation of the fight of the phytonutrients in this is like powerful medicine. And and for all of us, I mean, how great to be able to like take a dose of phytonutrients and enzymes and minerals and all the things that we're getting. Um, so that's the benefit of juicing, and that's the difference. And things, you know, things exist. You know, things aren't mutually exclusive. Like last week, we were talking about the benefits of cold water, and then we were talking about the benefits of warm water. And you know, th things are great for different results. You know, on a really hot Los Angeles day, cold water ignites me, makes me feel refreshed. You know, um, on a on a cold, you know, autumn evening, of course, I want warm water. And in the morning, warm water is ideal. So this is really great. We're just going to be juicing all of these wonderful greens. Pretty much Next this up. is it. I'm not going to juice all of that. Um, we put a garlic through. I love putting garlic to the juicer. And really, look at this juicer. I love this juicer, the Huram. It really doesn't give very much pulp. There's actually a good amount of the fibers that get through. And then you know what I do? I like to just put a little water through it um, because th with this juicer in particular, it does give us a little fiber, so it can be a little thick. Um, and it also makes cleaning the juicer easier, which is always nice. So we'll do that. And then I'm gonna cut an avocado on top of it. So here we have our green juice. Now, I, I, I will say that this is something that, I, this, this can be like medicine. You know, for some people, especially for like the newbies, people that are new into this, they might say this isn't like, I mean, it's a little, it's, it's definitely green juice. But when it comes to like medicine and, and really getting a sense of power and phytonutrients from your food that do cure illnesses, uh, I mean, the, this, the studies are over and over again, um, the effect that phytonutrients have in eradicating and correcting cancers. So that's what this is for. And then I also like to top it with sunflower seeds. These sunflower seeds um, have been um, dehydrated with some cayenne pepper, but you can just do like regular sunflower seeds. Try tasty medicine. Do you like it? I do. Awesome. Oh my God, that's so good. 